and caught on camera stolen in the middle of the night. A trailer filled with costumes and props from a Greenwood dance studio earmarked for an upcoming children's recital. Initially, there were tears, but as RTV6's Derek Thomas reports, there is now steely resolve. The trailer was kept right here behind the studio for three years and no one had ever bothered it until Wednesday night. In this surveillance video, you can see a truck pull away with a dance studio trailer hooked to it. That theft is exasperating for Inspire Dance Studio director Trista Horner. Really just a shot to our hearts when it's this close to recital and the kids are, you know, looking forward to that end of the year performance. And, you know, they've worked all season to perfect dances and now, you know, the pieces that they need to perform that for all their family and friends, you know, are just no longer here. The show must go on and rehearsals for the recital are still underway. However, there was a little break in the case when it was learned that some of the props had been disposed of in a dumpster behind the General American Donut Company located at 827 South East Street. The owner contacted the studio and these items were recovered, but most of the costumes and props have not been located. Photos of past recitals indicate the color and pageantry associated with them. The dance students were initially upset, but now they have resolve. We were super proud of the kids. We really looked at this as an opportunity to teach them about perseverance and um, the positive attitude that you should have during any trials. And last night they had even come up with their own hashtag. So they said they were hashtag stolen props can't stop us. The youngest dancers are still working out the kinks in their performances and their parents will be working to rebuild the props. The students are fired up. They say hashtag stolen props cannot stop us. The recital will go on as scheduled June 11th at Franklin Central High School. Derek Thomas, RTV6. Uh, good for them. The Greenwood Police Department is investigating the theft, but haven't made any arrests so far. The contents of the trailer were worth $2,500, and the trailer itself, about $1,000.